you can actually split your mortgage payment in half. Get the f out of here! No, I cannot! For example, say you have a $2,000 mortgage. You can actually pay $1,000 on, say, the fifth of the month, and the second half, the second thousand dollars on the 25th of the month, or however you and your lender want to work it out. Why would you want to do this? Check out this video. Okay, so before I show you why you should be doing this, I'm going to show you how to do it. How to do it is only take about two or three minutes, so not long at all. But I was, and after that, I was going to make a whole video behind it explaining why. But as I was researching this topic, though, I found there's like seven or eight really good YouTube videos out there that explain this topic very, very well. And so you know, some go back five, six years. Another one I think is pretty much just a year or two ago. But um, I found one that I really, really like. In fact. The gentleman actually narrating the the the, the video. Um, I'm gonna call him the Mr. Rogers of YouTube, I, just because it's not. It, actually, that's a compliment. He's just a real. Looks like he's a real nice guy. He's a family man. He seems like he really cares about what he's doing, and his video is so concise, so uh, detailed, and so simple. I mean, you should have no questions after watching this video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is after I explain this, I'm just gonna put a link probably right here in the top hand corner. You can click on that link and go over to um, his video. Now, I, I'm not getting paid for that. I don't get any kind of kickback. It's too late. They start shooting in a week. I'm going to make them an offer he can't refuse. I just think it's something that will definitely help you understand the process, um, you know how it works, and then, of course, you can make uh, your decision from there. So here's what you got to do. So as far as getting started, what I would do is you just walk into your – you don't have to walk in. You can actually have them email to you. It depends where your lender is. I just walked in, and I walked in. My, my lender is actually Bank of America. Not the best bank in the world. Another video for another time. But uh, luckily, I don't have an account with them, but they do hold my mortgage. So since they hold my mortgage, I have to go see them. And I walked in and I said, hey, I want a bi-weekly payment plan. How do I do that? And they gave me this form. It's actually three pages. I'm only going to show you page one. The second and third page is just a bunch of really small type like this over here. All Just a bunch of legal jargon. You can read that on your own time. But what you do is when you get this, you know, they're going to want a few things from you. First thing you want to do, you can see here, they want you to bring an avoided check. Uh, so if you if you go there in person, that's why you should go there in person because they'll want you to, to bring a check and then you'll avoid it out and they'll just take it for the account number and then they'll actually just email it here to this uh, you know email or they'll actually even fax it in. Um, I got mine faxed in because I didn't have my, um, my checkbook, but down here, let me scroll down a little bit. I actually wrote down my uh, uh, my actual routing number and my um, my account number, so you can see it right there. And then basically uh, the same thing; they'll just fax it in, and they're good to go. So, what are we good to go for? So here's what they got. Unbelievably, Bank of America has one, two, three, four different types of wow. what they call plans that you can actually uh, uh, work out here. So. The first one is uh, pay plan number 12, uh, is, is I guess what it's called. Uh, it's monthly payment. And you can see here, you know, it just simply says enter the date within 15 days of the due date as stated in the loan documents, uh, uh, when you would like the recurring payment to be de drafted, et cetera, et cetera. There's some notes here. You know, if the date is not scheduled, we'll select one for you, all that kind of stuff. So there's a few stipulations there, but this, I, this is strange. This is a monthly payment. We do that now. 99.9% .9 of American households actually pay their, their, uh, their, I don't know if that's the actual amount, but a lot of us pay our, our mortgages every month. So I don't know why that's even there, but then you got the pay plan 24. Uh, here you can see it says semi, uh, monthly payments. And uh, same thing here, all funds drafted will be held as a partial payment until the full payment is received. So that's how that works. And then of course, there's some notations here. Uh, dates must be, um, okay, uh, dates must occur within the fifth, within 15 days of the due date and so on with that. So they got some stipulations there. That's another option you have. As you can see what I did, I chose the actual, um, pay plan number 26 because it says right here, bi-weekly or pay plan 52 says weekly, uh, uh, payment. So here, you can see it's either or. You can do this one or you can do this one. But check this out. This is what's very important. Okay. It says here, um, there is no transaction fee for this service. I'm pretty sure it's the same for all of them, but I don't think Bank of America charges fees. But I want to give you a heads up on this because it depends on the lender. If your lender charges a fee, that's just a little, you know, something you have to work with. And when you do, you simply walk in and say, hey, you know, I see you have a charge of fee here. And what they're going to do, is a, they're, they're going to say, well, yeah, there's a fee for this. It's a monthly fee or an annual, whatever the fee they have. You say, no, you know what? I want you to waive that fee. I've been a loyal customer. I've been with you guys now for six, seven, eight years, whatever. Please waive the fee. And, you know, what does the Bible say? Ask and you shall receive. Ask for this gift and it shall be given you. Okay. 
because they're not, because they're not going to come up to you and say, "Hey, Mr. Customer, we like the fact that you're che- you're, you know, you're actually picking a, a pay plan." But did you know you can waive the fee? They're not going to say that. <laughs> they, they expect you to pay the fee unless you say something. So. Tell the salesperson, you know what? I, this is the way I, I, I'm, I'm customer here. I've been here a long time, like I just said, with the fee. They should do it no problem. If for some reason they're being stubborn, has a little bit of an attitude, ask for the manager. The manager always has more pull in these situations than, a, than an actual you know, sales employee. So they'll be able to do it for you. But some institutions, though, they might not even have this all together. They just go by month and that's it. All they have is just a monthly mortgage payment. And if there's a way around that, I don't know. And the preceding video is going to follow. Uh, you might you might actually um, see if there's a way around that, but not that I know of. So anyway, but for those that do have it, this is what you do. Also, pay attention to this. Now, this is not a fee, but this caught me off guard because when I did this, I actually got um, a letter in the mail. I thought it was my acceptance letter. I thought it was my confirmation letter. It was a denial letter. It's like denied. <laughs> it was like denied. I guess I need stronger glasses. I, there's you, you can't see here in the scan, but there's a little uh, thing widget here, whatever they call it. It's pointing to this right here, and it says, well, I wish it would put like in bigger letters in, in red. Note, uh, the loans for these two options must be paid ahead a full month before a playpen enrollment will occur. Well, who in the hell knew that? I had no idea, you know? And then of course it goes on with the date, you know, corresponding and all that stuff. So basically gonna pay your your, your one payment, like for example, um, right now we're gonna start February. So I have to pay the mortgage payment for February and March to get this started. And then from that point forward, I can split up the payments like bi-weekly. Not a big deal. Uh, I just got caught off guard. But once you do that, what's going to happen is now you got, for at least for the first year, you got two payments that actually are going to be going uh, towards, uh, at the end of the year, towards the principal. That's why you knock this down really fast. Because if you do this over and over, you won't be paying off your mortgage in 30 years. It'll be more like maybe 20 years or 25 years. And your interest, of course, since won't be going all the way to 30 years, you'll be paying interest only on 20 years, 25 years, or whatever you work out. There's a schedule on this. In fact, again, in the video following here, you're going to see that schedule. So um, that's why you want to do this because it knocks off a ton of time off your mortgage payments. You'll turn, turn a 30-year mortgage into probably a 20 or 25-year mortgage, and you'll save a ton of money in interest. And again, the video, in fact, let me do that right now. Since I, I'm done talking here, click right here on this link. It should take you there. If it doesn't work, I put a link also in the description. You may have to copy and paste it, but it's there for sure. That one will work. Or I'm going to try to put maybe right about now, uh, what they call it, end so or end screen. Uh, yeah, I think it's called end screen, whatever. Uh, you should see a picture pop up right here somewhere. Click on the picture now <laughs> and see if it goes. Um, and that should work. So if you don't, if you haven't done this yet, I just want to say uh, check this out. Good luck. If you have any questions, go ahead and just uh, comment below.